And there was a lot of publicity attached to this over the weekend with Bob Knight. And I didn't know what else to add to this. I've, I've had an up and down relationship with Coach Knight, but mostly up. Uh, when I was doing Sports Center, he did not like it uh, when I was on with Keith Oberman. He did not like us. Um, and probably rightfully so with some of the things that were said during highlights there. And it changed one day because of Jay Billis when Bob Knight asked about the Sports Center anchors. And Jay said that, you know, I knew basketball and that uh, I was a good guy. And Coach Knight said, have him call me. And uh, I did. We did a radio interview and then things changed after that. And he's always been available when we've asked for him. But I didn't know the interview was going to go the way it went when I asked him the question. But this is at the end of the interview, and I, and I said, why is it we want you to go back to Alumni Hall? And I'm not saying all of us collectively, Assembly Hall, uh, I'm not saying all of us collectively. I'm just saying there's, there's, a, there's a lot of people who would like to see some kind of closure here, that he would go back, and if you love the fans that much, then go back for the fans. He made it, he's making it about himself. But all these people who kicked him out, who fired him, who embarrassed him, they're all gone. And for him to wish that they were dead. And, you know, I thought the buildup was he was going to talk about the fans that, hey, it's, you know what, you're right. And, you know, someday I'll, I'll go back there. You're doing this documentary on the perfect season, the last perfect season. And you just honor this team last year. And you're not there. That's what was disheartening about it. You know, look, there, there's a lot. Bob Knight's a complicated guy. You certainly can't defend everything he says or does, and I'm not trying to. But I do appreciate who he is and what he is. I don't agree with most of the stuff that he says, his opinions, but I have a fascination with him growing up in Ohio, understanding what he did, uh, how he did it, and uh, some people who were close to me were friends with him. And they talk glowingly about Bob Knight, that if he's a friend, he's a friend for life. I understand all those things. Now, we can go down the list of things that he's done that I don't agree with. You know, the more public items here. But, you know, this was a moment where he sounded older. He, he just, I don't know. It, it, it was sad to hear. It really was. I think he's being selfish, that he's making it about himself, that he's, he's been mistreated and, you know, what happened there. We understand that. He's not letting the fans who he loves have closure. That, that this group who follows Indiana basketball, or even college basketball fans in general, that you go back there, smooth over the edges there, go out there, take a bow, you earned it. Let those fans have closure to this. Because they don't. And if you love your fans that much, then go back for them. But yeah, I, I, I just, I felt sad hearing it. Somebody who was revered, and you're saying that you wish people were dead. Uh, sad to hear. But that, that was over the weekend. I got a lot of people who ask about it. I know the Danettes, you guys probably got a lot of people asking you about it as well because it, it sort of came out of nowhere. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.